give you high food. Yeah. But it's not from complex and suffering from your life. Anything. Huh? Give me the do. Oh, you said what? We're doing interview. Oh, okay. You want to do it? Yeah. Okay. So, can you tell me the story of how you met? Your wife? Oh, my Polish wife? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, my Polish wife came from the countryside, from a small town, and came to Warsaw. But at the time I was in the first year, she had completed her studies and got a job with an agricultural establishment. Okay. Her income was not that much. So she remained, there were some extra rooms in the dormitories. And those dormitories were built by Russian political prisoners. And the Polish people turned them into dormitories for schools oh, for the University of Warsaw. Good education. So it's, it's like an estate, but they are no building. Mm -hmm. But the place is beautiful, everything is laid out. Okay. Yeah. So it's a beautiful place. Of course, the houses are not the best thing, like moving and all that. So, you know, she lived in that place there, and uh, I think I went to the store somewhere. No, a friend of mine came to her. And I had my older guy that was following him in Liberia. Okay, and he found two of them. Now, they were white women. Huh? They're white women. That, you know when you're in Poland, oh yeah, in Europe, you find it difficult to have a black woman because they are not there. And then the black woman that is available, just what happening to you here and to, to Americans there. There are black women, black uh, black American women who, that are African women that are available, they want the white men. Yeah. Especially the African women. African women want it, they want to be German men. Not so much Polish men, but German men, right? Is that because they're different? That's why? It's not no, well, Germany, Germany is a rich country. So if you African from Kenya, you met a German man, right? Mm -hmm. And you married to him, you got German uh, 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 resident permit or, or, or citizenship, right? Right. And then you are in control. German men don't control women. Women. They're very passive. They, 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 they are, the German women are now the, the beautiful women on earth, but, so, but they are very dominant. So the German men don't like them. They go for African women. We'll wash their clothes. We'll clean their house. That's what they want. So they're not prejudiced? No! What? German men is dying for a white and for a black woman. Hmm. I remember one African American woman came from North Carolina and then she was dating this Sierra Leonean guy. The guys I started in, in, in Germany and she flew all the way from North Carolina to visit the Cameroon and the, and the Sierra Leonean guy. But one day we went to the club, he said, I'm going to go to the club and grab my wife in bed. That was on for In the presence of the boyfriend. Wow. So the barber, I would laugh, say, yeah, let them, let them go and we got to make food and no wine with me. You know? See, I want to come on, I want to buy me. So you're saying that, um, if, so, <laughs> if African woman was to fuck. Oh, no, their woman was to knock out that uh, Well, African-American woman, if they want to date those kind of men. He said, you know, to a purpose, they went to the nightclub in search of a white man. So they should date German men. German man, yeah. They simply German. Because in German, German bachelors, they work hard and, and they go prejudiced. to a nightclub. Okay, and they're not prejudiced, like you said. Mm. Okay. And the German men, if I'm from Liberia, in Liberia we still have a true relationship with German women. Most of our women were married to German, German men. You know, the German men were privileged. They, they, had, they were running stores, running businesses, right? Mm -hmm. What time do you have, by the way? Yeah. What time do you have? Oh, no, I don't know what time. So we can uh, continue. Yeah. I want to keep the story going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me see what time do you have. What's up? 
Okay, 713. 713. Yeah. Okay, so when you seen your, your um, wife in the beginning, it was 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 that, this the first white woman that you were interested in in your life? Uh, no, when you go when you go to Poland, you go to the language school. Mm -hmm. The Polish language school, the Japanese language school. Right. You have to learn the language. That's right. Okay, but in the language school, they for foreigners from all over the world. Mm -hmm. So when you are there, you are learning that Polish. The Polish teachers tell me, go to go to coffee shop. Look for look for girls so you can practice your Polish. Oh, your teacher tell you. Huh? The teacher? Who the teachers you? are the one telling you. They say, listen, listen. If you want to improve your Polish, mm -hmm. you must have a Polish girlfriend. Go for them. Go to the go to the go to the coffee shop. Go to nine o'clock. That's interesting. They say that they will say that. That's they they, they say that. that. He said, otherwise you won't practice, you won't have an opportunity to Somebody's practice coming. I gotta take the phone. Somebody's coming. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna stop the interview, right? Right? <laughs> Somebody's trying to get